So today I want to do something a little bit different. I find it hard to have a completely mattified look just because my skin is oily combination. But I decided today that I wanted to go for matte eyes, matte lips, and a matte face. And I'm going to see how it looks and hopefully it will work out as well as I expect. It's kind of a first impressions of this product. And I got this at Target recently and it's the Boots No. 7 Beautifully Matte makeup base and basically it says it stops shine as well as helps blemishes improve and it's hypoallergenic so I'm just taking about a pea size amount and I'm just going to tap a little bit of it onto the areas that I feel like I really need it which is my t-zone so I'm just gonna blend this out with my fingers Definitely feels a little bit different. I don't use that many primers, but the ones that I have used are more of a silicone base or more of a gel formula. This is definitely more of a. It looks creamy, but it's not creamy because when you put it on, it's actually quite stiff and it's a little bit hard to move around. I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and I'm just using this one again. It's from Revlon and it's the Colorstay Whipped Foundation and it's basically a matte finish but it does have a little bit of a shine so I'm going to see if this gets rid of it completely. And again I'm just going to take it on my fingers and pat it around my face. Take my blending brush from e.l.f. and just blend this really well into my skin. It does seem like it made my skin a lot more matte, so I'm not going to apply a powder right away. I'm going to apply my concealer though just because I want to cover up these dark circles underneath my eyes. And I'm also going to take some down my nose as well as in between my eyebrows, above my lip, and on some spots I have on my chin area. And I'm just going to pat that out with my finger. Alright, so I'm just going to put on my eyebrow. Alright, so next I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer as a base for my eyelids. And I'm also going to pop on a little bit underneath my eyelashes as well. So today I'm going to go in with this palette, which is a great dupe for the Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. If you can't afford that, you can definitely get this instead. Um, yeah, the colors are really, really similar, and I think it's a really fun palette. I did get this from Jessica in our swap. And as you can see, this one is shimmery, but the rest of them are on the matte side. Um, so I'm going to go in, first of all, with this light brown color and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid and I think today I'm just going to apply it on with my finger Alright, and I'm going to take a little bit more of that same color and I'm just going to dust this under my lash line. Alright, I'm going to go in with my angled brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to go for the slightly darker, more chocolatey brown color right there. And I'm just going to focus this in my crease area. 
And I'm also going to put this in my outer V and push this along my lash line. And I'm also going to take it underneath my eye as well. I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to take the same chocolate brown once more. And I'm just going to apply it in the same area and just blend it out using really gentle circle motions. And I'm going to kind of push it past my crease a little bit just so it's a little bit smoked out. And I'm also going to take it again underneath my lower lash line. And once more I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm actually going to take the black color on the end. And I'm just going to pat this a little bit in the outer V area of my eye. And all I'm going to do is again blend. And as you probably guessed it, I'm going to also take it underneath my lower lash line. And as my highlight, I'm actually going to mix these two shades together. One is more of a yellowy shade and one is more of a pinky shade. And I'm just going to mix it together. I'm going to put the yellow down first and then pop over the pink on top. So I'm going to take this black eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to tight line my eyes. And I'm also going to draw on my lash line, so not my waterline or below it. I'm just going to simply draw on my actual lash line. And I'm also just going to take it on my upper lash line as well, just a little bit. Just in the outer corner of my eye. And I'm going to take the same angled brush from earlier and I'm just going to push it back and forth just so it blends that eyeliner out a little bit and makes it appear a little bit more smoky. And I'm also going to do my lower lashes as well. A little bit of this Lumi concealer underneath my eyes just to make sure that it's not too dark under there. I don't know if it's because I haven't been sleeping that well lately. I was also sick recently so I don't know if that's something to do with it or what is going on but I didn't used to have these bags. They never used to be this dark. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and apply my powder now. And before I put it on, I do have to say that I feel like I'm a lot more matte than I would be normally. I do think that primer helped. I do want to put a powder on just because I want my makeup to last for a longer time. And I do feel like the primer worked quite well. But just to be on the safe side, I want to put this powder on. And I'm just taking my Milani one again, and I'm just taking my e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to swirl it in there. And like always, I just pat it straight onto my skin so I don't move too much of the product around. This blush, which is just a light baby pink color. And I'm just going to work this onto my cheeks to add some life back into my... <laughs> to add some life back into my face. I kind of feel like... When I'm more matte, I kind of look a little bit paler. I don't know if that really, <laughs> that's probably just all on my mind, but I feel like I look a little bit pale right now. Bronzer, this one is from Neutrogena, and again, it's pretty much on the matte side. I don't see any shimmer running through it. I'm going to work this along my temples, a little bit on my forehead as well, and underneath my cheeks, obviously, and just blend out like crazy so I don't look like a mad woman. <laughs> down the sides of my nose since again I'm just feeling quite pale right now and I want to warm up my skin a little bit 
And I'm also going to pop this on underneath my lip just to make that pop a little bit. And I'm just going to rub it out with my finger so it doesn't look too intense. For my lips, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild lipstick in Think Pink, which is just a kind of a rosy, which is kind of a dusty rosy pink, which is kind of a dusty rosy pink color, and it is matte, so. So here's the completed makeup, and honestly, I do feel like my skin looks really, really matte. I'm seeing a little bit of shine in this area and this area, but it's not too intense. And yeah, I think that product did really work well. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram now, so if you want to follow me on those, I would absolutely love it. And most of the time, I just end up following you guys back. So I love y'all, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! Thank you so much for watching.